Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this video for November 2022. My name is Ona Christie, and I am so excited about this month. It just feels like there's big changes ahead, and the energies of this month are going to support it. So in this video, I'm going to speak first a little bit to the astrology of November 2022, and then we'll go into the energies of November 2022 as channeled, channeled through my Akashic Guidance. And we'll close it all up with an oracle reading to support us through this month ahead. So ready, let's get started. Um, starting with the astrology of November 2022, I didn't actually look into the astrology of this month until after I looked into the energies of November 2022. But after looking it up, I thought there were some interesting parallels. So as you go through this video, listen for these. And if you find any that jump out at you, put them in the comments below. Um, the first thing that I noticed is that November 2022 starts and ends on a first quarter moon. So that's a waxing moon. And traditionally, the first quarter moon supports focused action and also assessing past actions and making decisions around those okay so just kind of keep that in mind as we move forward also of course in this month the sun moves into sagittarius and that happens on 11 22 2022 and that's you know it, it, that that's really an auspicious date especially coming um it, past this this whole past nine months or so starting in February with, where we had that 222 and the 2222 and here it's an echo of it in November here and it's it's we'll, we'll get into that a little bit um in, in, in a shortly here but it the sun's going to move into Sagittarius on that day just a few days after Mercury and Venus both also enter into Sagittarius. And then the day after that, on the 23rd, we have a new moon in Sag, and then Jupiter goes direct on the 23rd in the sign of Pisces. Okay, so Sag is this mutable fire sign, which really supports action towards change. And then we all know that the archer of the Sagittarius loves to shoot for the moon. Um, so combining that with Jupiter, which is this planet of expansion and going direct in Pisces, the most spiritual sign of the Zodiac. And by the way, Jupiter is also the ruler of both Sagittarius and Pisces. So I'm really seeing November 2022 as a big, big month to support any kind of purpose-led changes and expansion into higher consciousness. So it could be a really good month to just kind of open up and get downloads. And also if you are moving forward with your purpose or starting any kind of initiative, right, that supports your purpose, whether it's a new job, a new relationship, starting a business, uh, making changes in your business, whatever that is, this is an incredibly pivotal month or can be a very pivotal month for those kinds of activities, okay? Which, of course, leads also to the big event in November that everyone is anticipating, which is the 1111 Gateway. And I will be releasing a video on that soon. So if you haven't subscribed to Art of Awakening yet, hit that button below and hit the bell to make sure that uh, that sh will show up in your notifications. Okay, so let's move on into the energies of November 2022 as I receive them through my Akashic guidance. Um, as I've just mentioned that this, we've just kind of come through this whole big period of, of intense purification. That was that period starting in last February 2022, moving all the way through um, this past summer. Uh, there was a lot of intense, intense energies all through the summer with the eclipse season last summer, with the landscape, um, through to this uh, this past equinox. Um and just kind of culminating right in this, this just right now in this period. Okay, so this has been a huge, huge uh, purification cycle, right? Um, cleansing, if you have had a lot of intense things happening, <laughs> maybe things falling away, um, 
facing your shadow side, those kind of things. That's all par for the course for purification. And so if you have anything left to clear, November 2022 is going to be a great month to do it. Um, so just I'm going to read to you a, a passage from that I channeled from the Akash and, and they address this. So starting here, they say this is a time of further purification and cleansing. But for many who have undergone intense waves of purification in the last nine months, this may feel calmer and easier. Think of it as like cleaning up mud after a hurricane. It's a good time to sweep out the corners and tie up loose ends, to declutter, to clean your closets, and get rid of anything that no longer fits you. Things you haven't worn in years, things taking up space for no good purpose. It's a good month also to get your finances in order, to clean up your books and reconcile your accounts if you haven't done that in a while. This kind of inventory taking will require you to really look at how you have been spending your time, money, and energy. It may bring up feelings of guilt or shame. Rec recognize and welcome any such feelings as your friend. They are an invitation to be honest with yourself and others to look deeply into what you've been hanging on to and to have the courage to relinquish those things that aren't in alignment with what you know brings you joy. Cleaning out the cobwebs now will enable you to move forward in full power and alignment when the wheel of the year shifts to support your next major step forward. Okay, and so just to elaborate on this, and by the way, usually when I delve into the Akash, um, it's going to be kind of verbatim what they give me. This month, they kind of gave me just general indications. Okay, so what I just read was not so much a word by word channeling as a sort of a, a translation of the images and energies that I was getting. So I just want to make that really clear. Um, but just to elaborate just a little bit on this, there may be people and groups that may be undergoing very intense purification style experiences this month. Um, but I'm feeling like there's probably a lot of you who are attracted to watching my videos may already have been through a lot of those in this past cycle and have that a little bit calmer <laughs> kind of um, less intense clearing. Um, I, I'm, I'm hoping that is the case <laughs> because that's that's usually a little bit easier to deal with, although the, the intense clearings are always good too, you know, as long as we have that knowledge that, okay, this is a clearing and I'm just riding the waves, right? Um, good thing to remember all the time, right? Anytime there's challenges that they, they come up for a reason and they're always there to assist us, right, on our path. Okay, so it mentioned clearing right now so that we can move forward in full alignment when the wheel of the year shifts to support your major step forward. And that was actually a, a fairly clear image that they gave me, okay? So when will that be? Well, that will vary by the individual, okay? And especially if you're in the Northern hemisphere, um, this is most likely a time of preparation. Okay, planting seeds and setting the stage for future expansion. Um, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you may feel it more like a dancing whirl of activity at this time. Okay, if that is the case, then just trust your intuition. Have faith that as long as you're aligned with your own inner truth, the universe will support you and then just go as you're guided. Okay, so if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you may feel a little bit more the action happening right away or more guided to action. And if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you may feel a little bit more like, okay, clearing out, getting downloads, kind of making plans, 
getting things ready, right? And more likely you're gonna see that push forward to really sustained action in the spring. In, in, in I'd say probably March or February even, um, and you know sometime a little bit later starting in 2023. Okay, now this isn't gonna be true for every single one, but as a general, um, you're gonna be more likely depending on where you are or if you're, if you are embodying a lot of masculine energy, you might also have that drive to action. Um, or if you're more embodying the feminine, um, be careful though, if you're in the Northern atmosphere and really feeling that big thrust ahead, might wanna just take a few deep breaths and, and just do a little bit of awareness, a practice first to make sure that it's, it's an actual alignment, okay? Maybe just take a day and just sit in meditation, just make sure, <laughs> just because it's really easy sometimes um, to, to feel that push and um, it's almost like giving birth, right? <laughs> you're pushing before you're fully opened and it's not real good. <laughs> so, um, all right, so for everyone, regardless of where you're at, I'm guided to suggest that the power of dance is a strong ally right now. So dancing is the super powerful thing that anyone can do to assist in releasing stuck energies and or to help those energies move in a positive direction. So physically dancing, it can really help with mental clarity, with releasing creative blocks, with any heavy energies that are in your, in your home. Um, if you feel like you've been kind of living under a cloud for any reason, um, or if you just kind of feel like, oh, lethargic, can't get myself up, dancing, I kid you not, <laughs> is an incredible antidote and just medicine for the soul, for the body. It really just helps clear. And it, it's like, nobody even has to watch you just go put some good dance music on and go to it. And you will be amazed how fast dance can clear energy. Okay, so if you're looking at this month of November 2022 and feeling like, wow, I have big positive changes ahead and thinking, oh my gosh, it would be really cool to have a little extra clearing, a little extra insight and to give you a big boost in prepping for whatever amazing changes you have ahead. That's exactly the kind of work that I love to do. Usually when I start with a person, we'll start with an energy scan. I just kind of peek into each of your chakras. It gives you a really beautiful energy profile of where you're at right now, any challenges, blocking you and uh, definitely guides all will always come forward. Um, sometimes it's spirit animals, angels, ascended masters, whatever it is that's here to support you in this month of November will show up in that energy scan. And it's a uh, super powerful experience. So I invite you to check that out if it calls to you. All right, so let's move forward with our oracle meeting, excuse me, oracle reading to support us through this incredible month of November 2022, and I am using the Shaman Wisdom Cards. This is a deck by um, Lyda Richeson, and it's an older deck, but it's one that I really love. She has a, a bunch of spirit animals in here. She's got crystals in here. She's got plant totem cards. Uh, she's got all the four directions, just an amazing deck based on Native American spirituality. And so I'm going to be pulling somewhere between one and three cards to support the energies of 2022 and any big changes that we have ahead, helping us to stay centered, grounded, strong, and help us to receive the right words to communicate well around what we need uh, to move ahead and to recognize anything that needs clearing and to be able to clear, cleanly and efficiently clear out. Okay, so the one I'm getting here first is number two, and it is called Grass Moon. So um, this is one I'm just going to kind of, I, I, I am not as fully, uh, um, familiar with this deck to tell you exactly what Grass Moon is. Okay, so I'm going to just sort of do a little oracle um, feeling into this card itself. And then I'll read to you um, from her guidebook, which is, she's she's got an amazing guide, guidebook here. Okay, so this is, I guess the, the, the astrological sign of Taurus is coming up to support us. Now the first part in most of the month of September, or excuse me, November, 
we're still in Scorpio and Taurus is right across from Scorpio in um, on, on the, the astrological wheel, right? And so this is a, a beautiful card for balance, all right? So if there's anything that comes up here in this month, especially in the first part of the month of November, which leads up to the uh, sun going into Sagittarius on the 22nd, um, if anything comes up that feels uh, challenging, consider Taurus as a balancing energy, okay? So Taurus has, uh, it's very grounding, it's an earth sign, so anything you can do to ground would be really supportive. Um, and also beauty, right? Taurus is all about kind of beauty and, and finances. So really looking at your finances and being fiscally responsible this month would be definitely called for by the cards, bringing beauty into your life, taking a little time to give yourself some self-care, some self-love, maybe, you know, while being fiscal, fiscally responsible, recognize that part of fiscal responsibility is supporting the needs of body, mind, and spirit, all right? So, you know, feel like it's okay to spend a little bit if you want to go to a spa and have a spa day, that would be really in alignment just to make sure that you're relaxed and able to move forward, right? Or you can do an at-home spa treatment, okay, and, and be very fiscally responsible. Um, number two, this energy of partnership, right? So whatever you're doing, whatever big changes are ahead, you want to make sure that uh, any partners in your life, um, you know, have that communication going, make sure that they, uh, you know, know what is going on, you might want to involve them, right, and get their feedback. Um, you know, getting any kind of feedback on what you're doing could be really helpful, actually, if you're feeling challenged this month. Um, the idea of a vessel, right, um, receiving and holding. So this may be a good month to kind of hold on to what you're being given. You may be given lots and lots of insights this month that it may not be quite time to take action on those yet. This It may take a little bit of gestation, right, to move through that. And again, that, that number two, sacral chakra, right, chakra two, um, is also talks about the idea of gestation. So again, the idea of planting seeds, you don't necessarily see them sprout right away. So just remembering that big changes take time, baby steps, <laughs> baby steps, right? Um, and let me read, I think this is going to be all the card we need really for, for this month at this time. Um, but let me read to you what um, Lighter Richardson says about this. And it is, um, calling on this period of time, which is kind of opposite the wheel, right, from where we're at. And again, balance, calling in balance with this card. She says, I am grass moon. I am the soft light of spring falling on the tall prairie grasses. I am resources powerfully at hand. I am value. The great buffalo is illuminated in my subtle light as it falls on the tall prairie grass gently wafting in the night breeze. The grass gracefully bends to the wind and the step of those who tread upon it, but provides food, shelter, and beauty, sustenance for life. Rely on the resources at hand and your strengths together in abundant supply. Your way is being lightened for increased possessions and financial prosperity. Don't look too far away or too high. You may miss what is underfoot already present. Get down to earth. You may want to roll in the grass on a moonlit night. Okay, so if you <laughs> are living in a place where you can actually roll in the grass, <laughs> think about that as a beautiful grounding activity, but really listen to what she's saying. She's saying that you have everything you need. Your resources are here. You've already assembled everything that you need to move forward when that time is right. And it, for many of us, it may be in that period of Taurus next year, that April to May period. Um, and, but she's, you know, rely, rely on the resources at hand. You already have it and your strength to gather in, right? So this is really telling you that, you know, not only do you have everything you need, but you have, you've developed this magnetic energy and ability to draw in and attract everything that you need. So this is speaking to you, right? 
as a, we all have this beautiful higher self that, that, that we're here as a vehicle for, right? And I'm feeling like this is this month where we can actually sit back, kind of assess what's in the way, you know, what, what is left, what can we brush away and really make room, become this vessel for this higher energy that's going to come in. And especially when you see this video coming up on the 1111, you're really going to get what this really means. So again, subscribe if you have it and watch for that. And remember, you were born to be free.